Mr. President, yesterday we had an uh, all senators caucus and we uh, discussed lengthily the budget of the Republic of the Philippines. And uh, just before we entered this August chamber, much to my dismay and much to our dismay, there, were, there was a news report that identified eight or nine senators, and there were names on that list, eight or nine senators who wanted to restore the confidential and intelligence fund of the Vice President and the Department of Education. And I wish to tell the people of the Philippines that there was no votation that happened yesterday with regard to the uh, intelligence fund of the uh, Vice President and the Department of Education. In fact, we had an executive session. And I do not know who of our colleagues who scooped or leaked our conversation to this media outlet. I have been a senator here for more than 10 years. And this is the first time that I encountered a scoop or a leakage I do not know. I do not want to name names. This is a violation of our rules. And the majority floor leader will expound it later. Mr. President, we tackled, we discussed lengthily for almost two hours the schedule, etc., of the budget of the, Fili of the Republic of the Philippines. We never touched or we never voted with regard to all the intelligence fund or confidential fund. In fact, we agreed unanimously to remove all the confidential and intelligence fund, not only that of the office of the vice president, including not only that of the Department of, of Education, but all security or civilian agencies na merong confidential and intelligence fund. Mr. President, I will just read. First on the list, Senator Robin Padilla, Christopher Bongo, Ramon Bong Revilla Jr., Ronald Bato de la Rosa, Jingo Estrada, Lito Lapid, Francis Tolentino, and Cynthia Villar. They are putting us in a bad light. And I condemn this. And I take offense on this. Nakalagay pa. Senator Pia Caetani is said to be supportive of reinstating Duterte's confidential funds if she can justify the need for them. This is not true. And I hope Senator Pia Caetano will agree with me. Just for a while, Mr. President, tinahanap pa ni Senator Robin yung mga nakasulat. <clears throat> May inaaro yung Wi-Fi. <laughs> ano ba tayo dito? Converge, uh, PLDT, Sec Secretary, ADICT, <laughs> Nako. Mr. President, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. And if I may quote, Anis Cooper told this media outlet that Senators Sani Angara, Francis Escudero, Rafi Tulfo, Aquilino Pimentel III, and Risa Ontiveros are allegedly against the reinstatement of Duterte's secret allocation, which are lodged under the office of the Vice President and the Department of Education. Mali, mali po itong report. Mr. President, and I think uh, Senator Angara must not be included in this list. <laughs> and among the offices, Duterte's allocation was part of the 1.2 billion in confidential funds that the House realigned to agencies focused on the West Philippine Sea. Mr. President, tumayo po ako dito dahil masamang masama po ang loob ko. I really felt insulted. And I think my other colleagues here also felt the same way. 
Mr. President. And uh, Mr. President, I stand before you and I uh, want to make this recommendation maybe to talk to this media outlet or to summon this media outlet and, and ask them who among us violated our rules, who among us leaked what transpired in our executive session yesterday. That's all, Mr. President. Thank you, uh, Senator Jingoy. Before I recognize the other members, I'd just like to put on record, I too am very disappointed. I have been a senator for six plus six, uh, four plus six, ten plus two, twelve years, and a member of Congress for nine years. And when we say executive session, we are bound by rules of both the House of Representatives and when I was in the House of Representatives and rules of the Senate when I was elected as a senator. Uh, before I recognize the majority floor leader on the repercussions of violating that rules, I would just like to put on record as well that we had a healthy discussion. There was no voting that took place. There was a healthy discussion on how we will treat this uh, budget, particularly on the confidential and intelligence funds. It's not fair to say that one group was for this and one group was for that because in the end, tama po sinabi ni Senator Estrada, we were unanimous in the committee report that the good gentleman from Aurora will be presenting today. We are in full support of his committee report. Now, I am very alarmed. As a matter of fact, that's why we were late. I usually try to start at 3 p.m. We had a meeting with the leadership, Senator Joel Villanueva and Senator uh, Lauren Legarda. We met because of the implications of leakages during executive session. The executive department and very uh, sensitive agencies of government may no longer divulge information to the executive session if they know somebody might leak it. Before we re ask our colleague to react, Senator, uh, Senator Strada, may we ask the majority floor leader, what are the rules, particularly in executive session? Yes, Mr. President. So we are all very, clear. Thank, thank you very much. Mr. President, first of all, let me state uh, and put into the records that I'm aghast of what happened, Mr. President, whether this is leak or pure chismis, the fact that it came out, Mr. President, and uh, it appears blow by blow. And uh, uh, unfortunately, Mr. President, the, the figures, the numbers, even the, uh, uh, the names that were mentioned were, were uh, disoriented, Mr. President. I would just like to uh, put into the record of this chamber, Mr. President, what our rules say about executive session. Rule, uh, what's this? Rule on, on, on Section 126 uh, of our rules, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, Section, sorry, Section 129 of our rules, Mr. President, it states here, and I quote, Any senator who violates the provisions contained in the preceding section may, by a two-thirds vote of all the senators, be expelled from the Senate. And if the violator is an official or employee of the Senate, he shall be dismissed. I'd like to put that on record, Mr. President, because at the end of the day, it's not just the leak or chismis that we're talking about here. And I agree with Senator Jingoy Estrada being one of our uh, 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 veteran senator here in the Senate, Mr. President. It's more of the sanctity. It's more of the sanctity of the executive session. We continue to uh, perform our duties and responsibilities here in the Senate during committee hearings. Uh, of Senator Bato, he would call for executive session. Eh, paano ho tayong pagtitiwalaan ng mga nasa executive? Paano tayong pagtitiwalaan ng, ang, ng taong bayan kung ang ating executive session ay uh, nangyayari po yung mga ganitong uh, pangyayari, Mr. President? And so again, Mr. President, let and me may just... Add, may add majority floor leader, Section 28, the preceding section, is very important. The President, as well as the senators and officials of the, and employees of the Senate, shall absolutely refrain from divulging, from divulging any of the confidential matters taken up by the Senate and all proceedings which might have taken place in the Senate in connection with the said matters shall be likewise considered as strictly confidential, confidential until the Senate, by two-thirds vote of all its members, decides to lift the ban of secrecy. Thank so you, Mr. President. Very, very, very clear, Mr. President. Yeah. Crystal clear, Mr. President. Mr. President, Senator Jingoy is uh, seeking the floor. Move the yes, Senator Strada. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. I would like to associate myself with the uh, comments made by the Majority Leader. Kahit chismis yan or gossip yan, walang problema sa kanyan. Ang problema, bakit or pa paano lumabas sa isang media outlet yung mga nag-transpire sa ating usap, usapin kahapon. 
Yes. That is, for me, that is the most important thing. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Uh, Senator, uh, the Minority Floor Leader? Senator Bato de la Rosa is uh, seeking the Maybe floor. we can give the Minority Floor Leader first if you don't mind, Senator Yes, Mr. President. The Minority Leader. <laughs> Thank President. you, Mr. President. Ako nga, ngayon ko lang po nabasa, disappointed nga ako sa report eh. Kasi, ang sabi doon na uh, against ako sa uh, restoration ng CF ng Office of the Vice President. Tama yun, pero kulang. Kasi sa kahapon ako sinasabi ko tanggalin din ang intelligence fund ng Office of the President. So kulang yung yung report, ipakidagdag sa report kasi the Office of the President is uh not, is a civilian office uh not an armed uh, agency and a, not, not a uniformed agency. So kulang po, pakidagdag na lang. You are not violating the rules because you're divulging your own position. Yes. So, yes, Senator Bato de la Rosa is recognized. Mr. President. So, yes, Senator Bato de la Rosa is recognized. Mr. President, it is very unfortunate that this kind of incident happened uh, within our midst. Number one, Mr. President, it uh, creates distrust from among us 24 senators. Ibig sabihin, the next time around that we are going to have our focus or uh, executive decision, hindi na ako basa-basa magsasalita. Baka mamaya, meron na naman maglilik sa media. So, pangit po. 24 lang tayo dito na senador at hindi pa natin mapagkatiwalaan ang isa't isa natin, Mr. President. Number two, it tarnishes, it tarnish the image of the Senate. 24 lang tayong hinalal ng buong Pilipinas at hindi pa natin mapagkatiwalaan ang isa sa atin na pwedeng nag-leak. If indeed, it was leaked by any member of uh, the Senate. Kung ang nag-leak naman nun ay empleyado na nandun sa loob, well, as a police officer, Mr. former police officer, Mr. President, I can vividly recall kung sinong nandun sa loob. Dalawang staff ni Senator Angara. Si, si, uh, ma, ma, Mabik? Oh, Attorney Mabik. Attorney Mabik. At may isang kasama si Attorney Mabik na babae. So, apat silang na, na, nalaman ko na nandun sa loob. Eh, de, de, magprangkahan tayo dito. Dapat, we have to made into account yung tao na responsable dito. Hindi lang na magsisente ng stern warning sa kanila. Kundi, the damage has been done. Lumabas na yung balita niya, nasira na kung sinong dapat masira, but I don't care kung masira ang reputasyon ko. Ang sa akin lang, ma-preserve yung ating, uh, yung ating uh, reputasyon as a Senate. Hindi po maganda yung, uh, hindi tayo magkakatiwalaan dito. 24 lang tayo, Mr. President. And the waiter so, staff, huwag mo kalimutan yung mga staff sa likod. Yung mga waiter din, yung uh, nandun din sila. Isama natin sa investigasyon niya, Mr. Sila. President. So well, if, if, if the, the uh, chamber wishes... I can ask Senator Nancy Binay, who is the chairperson of the Committee on Ethics, to look into this closely, if it is uh, all right with the body. Yes, I, I support, Mr. President, I support the, the call of uh, Senator Jingo Estrada that the uh, source of this news, na ito, if, it's, if it is a politiscope, he has to be uh, called by, before a hearing so that we can know who source is. And if he doesn't say the truth, I will be the first one to move for the citing in contempt of that uh, media personnel, Mr. President. Ikulong natin yan kung uh, ayaw magsabi ng totoo. Mr. President, hey, this, is not a, this is not a laughing matter. This is serious. People, pa, Filipino people are watching us right now. Sabihin nila, ganyan na pala sinado ngayon, hindi pa pagkatiwalaan. Sila sila lang nag-uusap. Maglilik pa doon sa media. It's very dangerous, Mr. President. Very dangerous. Masyado nga akong uh, disbayado. We Thank agree. you, Mr. President. We, we agree with the gentleman from Davao, and that's why after these proceedings, I will ask Senator Nancy V. and I chair of the Committee on Ethics to investigate the matter. Uh, yes, Mr. President. After Senator, yes. Mr. President. I, may I move that uh, the Senate Committee on Ethics um, conduct a hearing and uh, call, uh, invite, invite the source of the news, Mr. President, so that uh, everything will be cleared out.
Yes, we'll ask the majority floor leader to make the proper referral and motion. Uh, before we, we uh, make the proper motion, Mr. President, may I, may I, may I just uh, appeal to our dear colleagues to uh, hear the, the, the sentiments of our uh, other colleagues. colleagues, other colleagues? We have, Mr. President, Senator Pia Cayetano been waiting for uh, quite a long time. Senator Sherwin Gachalian and, and Senator, Senator Lauren Legard as well. Lauren also is here. No, uh, my, my, uh, Mr. President, if I may, with the permission of my colleagues, may I request that we discuss this in caucus now? Because by saying what is true or untrue in the reported publication online, we are speaking about the executive session. And let me just remind the body of Section 129 of the Rules of the Senate. It is not even a matter of whether it's published online or hard copy. The mere diver divulging the executive session minutes or any part of it who violates all the provisions in the executive session contained, contained in the preceding sections by two-thirds vote may be expelled from the Senate. It is a very serious violation, Mr. President by a senator or an officer or a staff in rule, um, what is this? 129. Yes, 129. Section 129. So uh, <laughs> by saying that it is not true or it is true in part, but in fact it is this and that, we are actually talking about the executive session. So it is my humble opinion, respectfully, uh, I do not want to muzzle uh, our colleagues and if they want to speak on the floor, I leave it to your better judgment. But uh, many of us feel strongly about this, and I respect the right of Senator Estrada.